Hi there and welcome to this review of the One Way UK Daily Devotionals from the 27th of December through to the 31st of December. Now normally we'd look at it as it were day by day what we spotted each day but you see what we were doing this week was looking at uh, the song that Mary sang uh, concerning uh, her excitement at bearing the Christ child, at actually carrying in her womb the Son of God. And I thought to myself, well, there's something that we've not been able to do on the daily devotionals, and that's to take that song it's in, in its entirety. And I thought, well, why not read just together and just sort of allow its wonder to work on us? So I'm going to, to read it. I'm going to read it from the authorised version, that's the King James Version of the Bible, translated in 1611, and from a more modern translation, the Message Bible, uh, and just to not only get the contrast of 400 years of approach to this uh, wonderful song that Mary sang, uh, but also to allow it to speak to us. Uh, one, uh, the authorised version, through, if you like, its antiquity and its majesty and the poetry of its words. And then looking at the Message Bible and the vitality uh, of capturing the moment of exactly how Mary must have felt when she sang that song in the first place. So uh, uh, it runs from Luke chapter 1, verse 40, uh, 46, down to... Uh, verse 55 and Mary said my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour for he hath regarded the lower state of his handmaiden for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed for he that is mighty hath done to me great things and holy is his name and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud and the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath holpen his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And the Message Bible, it expresses exactly the same passage in this way. And Mary said, I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Saviour God. God took one good look at me and look what happened. I'm the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from all others. His mercy flows in wave after wave on those who are in awe before him. He bared his arm and showed his strength, scattered the bluffing braggarts. He knocked tyrants off their high horses, pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The callous rich were left out in the cold. He embraced his chosen child, Israel. He remembered and piled on the mercies, piled them high. It's exactly what he promised, beginning with Abraham and right up to now. Mary's song reminds us that God is faithful. God is faithful to his word. So as we discover what he's written in here for us, we know that he will accomplish everything that he says he will do in our lives. And as we come to 2011, the end of the old year and the beginning of the new, I think it's a good time for us to remember that in all the uncertainties that lie ahead, in all the adventures that lie ahead, of one thing we can be certain, God is faithful and his word is true. And so I pray that 2011 will be an exciting 
year in which you'll be able to run up to people and say, as Mary did, I've got some God news to give you. And the God news, of course, is the good news that Jesus has come as our Saviour. God bless you. Uh, a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you next year.